What is going on guys, welcome back to another play review, today we are going to be looking at one of the more cheaper team of the season cards, even though they're all so cheap. Anyway, if you guys are looking for a cheap reliable place to get your coin, check out battletech.com, the link will be in the description and use the code ETON to get 5% off. Now to begin with, team of the season Lacazette, I have had so many people ask me to review him because his face card stats look so amazing and he looks like the right player to put up as a striker and there should be no problem, correct? Well, that's where you're wrong. For me personally, I have reviewed the inform already and now I'm trying out the team of the season and I have to be honest with you guys, but before I talk about the inform and team of the season card, let's talk about the team of season card and how good he is is he worth your coins i think i bought him for 80k no actually i think i got him for less than that around 73k so he's a very cheap team of the season card to begin with this guy's got a good pace does he have 90 pace no no way does he have 90 pace he feels more like 83 84 pace to be honest with you guys decent dribble as well don't expect him to have the most amazing dribbling at 85 uh, i think his on his face card stats he has 85 dribbling I didn't think he lived up to that. He did not have that amazing dribbling, but he he was just about able to dribble past defenders when you have enough space. Uh, four star skills, but three star weak foot. So it all really depends on what you're looking at here because I have tried a couple of League One strikers now, and I have to say that Team Season Lacazette isn't in my top two. Now, good for their shots outside the penalty area, you'll see a couple that nearly went in, but a lot that hit the post, and very good shot power and long shots. This is something that you will definitely notice a difference between the inform and the team of season card. His shooting is way, way better. Finishing is exactly the same as the inform in the penalty area. Positioning, I had no problems with. His heading didn't even win me one header guys, not even one header, very weak as well, this is something surprising because the inform wasn't exactly that weak and I actually enjoyed using the inform but this one he was just so weak, no, I don't, he just couldn't pass a defender without getting pushed off the ball, inform just felt surprisingly better to be honest with you guys, I have no idea what is going on, how could I find an inform better than a team of the season card even though the stats say otherwise, but let me know in the comment section below, have you ever felt that a non-inform is just better than the inform or a team of season card is just worse than an inform that he had before? Let me know in the comment section below because this has come as a surprise to me. I just don't know what happened. They, I think when you upgrade a couple of stats on certain players, they sort of break them in game. And I felt that's exactly what happened with team of the season Lacazette. Now for me... I am going to be keeping Menez, uh, if you're looking for League 1 cheap strikers, I am going to be keeping my uh, Team of the Season Gignac and, team, uh, no, well not Team of the Season, uh, non-informed Menez. I think those two are a great combo, fast and strong, that's what you're going to need. Team of the Season Lacazette, I felt he wasn't that great. If you want to really use Lacazette, I would definitely advise you guys to use the inform. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate your like. Make sure you let me know if you've ever felt that way in Ultimate Team before. And I hope you guys have a very nice day.